What is up guys, how's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to make use of your entire screen on your Android device. Now this is going to hide the soft keys and the notification bar on your phone. Now the name of the app is called Full Screen. It's available on the Google Play Store. And there is also a paid version as well. You can go ahead and download that for $1.99. There are not really any new features in that, but yeah, it's just a donation. Now, you must be booted in order to be able to do this. So if you're not rooted, guys, um, sorry, this is not for you. You should go ahead and definitely take advantage and root the phone if you want to make use of the full screen. So root is a must. There are also some slight things going on with this app. Some devices are capable of handling it. There are also some limitations such as some devices won't be able to accept calls or receive calls or send texts, which is a little weird because my Galaxy Nexus seems to be doing everything fine. But there are a little known bugs with this app, but overall it has some really nice ratings and you should definitely go ahead and uh, give it a try. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and jump right into the app and I'll show you guys what it's about. Now as you can see right now I'm going into settings and into settings from my accessibility I have to turn full screen on because if it's turned off there's some certain stuff that it won't be able to do and also if you're rooted you have to grant access through super user or super su you have to grant full screen access or else this app won't work so basically this is the app right now it's um disabled i can also choose to show notification if i want in the notification bar or not we'll go ahead and enable it and here you go so i have a full screen now there are two sides i can use we'll come back to that in a bit but as you can see the notification bar and the soft keys have totally disappeared and the phone is using its entire screen. Now any app I open is obviously going to um, be loaded as the entire screen which is actually the benefit of this app. It gives you the you know the 0.5 or 0.2 or point whatever screen you were missing out when you were using the soft keys and the notification bar on top. It doesn't really take much, but yeah, it's it's worth it if you want the full screen. Now, if you notice, you can't really see any buttons. That's because I've set the opacity to zero. As soon as I turn it up, you can see the buttons. You can also adjust the size if you want them to be bigger or smaller. Show a notification bar in the notification bar menu. Now, there are two positions. There's one on the left and one on the right. You can set it on the top. On the bottom, you can disable it whatever you want. Now there are basically three different functions you can do. First is a click action, the long click action, and the swipe action. Now you can assign different kind of functions within these actions, which is pretty cool. You can choose from nothing to go back to show recent apps. You can also choose an open pie menu. Now if you see that little handle over there, if I press that it would bring up the pie menu and I can go ahead and add a whole bunch of other stuff that I want in the pie menu. So that's that for the left. Now on the right hand side you can do the same thing. You can pretty much do the same thing. Set it to the left, to the right. So as you can see my left button is being used right now for going back. While if I swipe towards the left from my right hand side it just goes to the home screen regardless of wherever I am and if I tap it once it opens the notification bar now the notification bar is not coming from the top and neither does Google now work but it comes from the bottom and it comes nicely you have all your stuff going on you're not missing out on any notifications now if I tap that once that's for back and when I swiped it just opens up the pie menu so whatever functions I put in the pie menu they're right there as you can see I can also see my recent apps by doing that but the bad part I would say is something that you can do now if I want to go ahead and close certain apps I can't close it so this is one of the 
bad things about this app. I'll have to restore my screen and then get rid of these apps. I can't just swipe away and get rid of it. But overall guys, this is pretty much it. If you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.